Mercedes-Benz to finally flap the C-Class all-terrain gauntlet in the face of the Audi A6 Al Road, the latter itself unchallenged in the tallest eight in plastic petticoat stakes until Volvo more recently recognized the SUV challenging potential of the genre with its V90 cross-country. With the standard E-Class estate only available in the UK mated to a 2.0-liter, 192bhp turbidesel. The all-terrain represents salvation for those who wish to enjoy V6 diesel power and all-wheel drive installed in a slightly taller shooting brake. Deal of that 5% appears to have been lavished on the off-road applique which hallmarks the all-terrain's outward bounder credentials. A ride height increased by 29mm, some of which may be attributed to larger wheels and tires, and some to revised suspension, is accompanied by redesigned front and rear bumpers. The famous twiff of plastic petticoats and standard fit 19 inches alloys. Absolutely. The all terrain's 3.0 litre V6 turbidesel generates 254 bhp and a handsome 457 pounds foot of torque. This is distributed to all four wheels via a 9 speed automatic transmission, the differential mounted adjacent to the gearbox rather than expensively integrated distributing power between front and rear axles with a 31 colon 69 split. Interestingly, the front to rear split on LHD specimens in 45 hours 55 minutes, suggesting further boxes marked savings were ticked during the conversion to right hand drive. On road. The car marries a quiet cabin and a largely exceptional ride, air suspension can never seem to quash a certain nuggetiness, with light, accurate and over-inert steering and a fair quota of well-controlled body roll. High-speed cruising is the all-terrain's true metier, then, and its capacity to deliver unflustered pace suggests it'll dismiss entire continents with effortless insouciance. Off-road, the selectable all-terrain driving program automatically raises ride height by 20 mm. The highest suspension setting gives a total ground clearance of 156 mm, which proves enough for the car to acquit itself with considerable aplomb on rocky forest tracks that would, at best, seriously tenderize the underside of conventional cars. Its allocated ground clearance and approach, departure and breakover angles somewhat shackle its abilities as a genuine off-road adventurer, but on rutted tracks, snow and wet gymkhana grass, it's no more likely to let you down than any all-wheel drive SUV. Comfortable, classy and when it comes to semi-autonomous driving a little too clever for its own good, the E-Class all-terrain makes a very respectable fist indeed of disguising how little it actually differs at heart from the standard estate. Thank you.